I've got two types of transmission coolers here and I'm gonna try to answer the question can you successfully flush metal shavings out of them so that you can use them again after you rebuild your transmission now recently I found that my 2001 Yukon the transmission pan was full of metal shavings way beyond the normal amount that's stuck on the magnet so I had to rebuild it so the question comes up uh, what to do with the cooler can I flush it uh, or should do I need to replace it can you flush all those metal shavings out of it well let me show you what I found um, now I tried it <clears throat> and what I found was that no matter how much kerosene I used kerosene to flush it I ran gallons and gallons through it and um, I reversed direction and no you know back and forth flush it one direction then attach the hoses the opposite direction and flush it that way and it seemed like no matter how much I flushed it uh, little metal shavings just continued to come out far less but they would never stop coming out so what I did is I cut this open to see uh, what was inside and maybe the reason why I could not flush all the metal shavings out and if you notice the thin tubes that the liquid travels through I cut it in half on a bandsaw here's the where the fitting goes and the fluid comes up and then it goes through these thin tubes what you see inside is all these little metal fins it's like they wanted to create as much metal surface area as possible to dissipate the heat and I'm 99 percent certain that that pattern of these little metal fins goes all the way down the length of that tube uh, I cut it in half on a bandsaw and here I did an angled cut and you can see kind of a cross section of all those little metal louvers that the fluid has to flow up and over and around and they it look it appears like they just continue to go all the way through and it's like a little trap for metal shavings there's no way in my opinion there's no way you could flush metal shavings out of these a hundred percent there's just too many little nooks and crannies for them to stay hidden in and trapped in and normally on trucks and vans and things you have a auxiliary oil cooler that's up in front of the radiator by itself but first it goes through a cooler in the radiator tank and it looks like the transmission fluid hoses go into your radiator tank come back out and then they go through this cooler so what I have here is uh, this is from a different vehicle. This is from a 2002 Buick LeSabre. Uh, I did a radiator on it and I dissected the radiator just to get at this um, cooler and see what it looked like and what it was made of. So here's what it looks like. This is inside the plastic radiator tank. And I also cut this one in half on a bandsaw so we could see what's inside. If you look in the inlet, I don't know if you can see it, but there's all these little fins just like on the other one. If you look at the cross section, you can see those aren't metal shavings. That is just how it's made. 
there's all these little micro fins in there that run the full length to try to dissipate as much heat as possible, gather heat out of the fluid and exchange it into that metal casing around it and um, or vice versa, you know, if you're running it through the radiator first, so <clears throat> it has the effect of warming up the transmission faster also. But look at that, there's just, there's no way you could flush all your metal shavings out of this. You could probably get most of them, but I am pretty certain that you can never get them all out. So what I elected to do on my Yukon was bypass the one in the radiator. I wasn't going to replace the whole radiator just for that. So I just bypassed the radiator one and I bought a brand new auxiliary cooler and I am only running that and that is the only way that I was could assure myself that I wasn't going to put metal shavings into the brand new rebuilt transmission I can't speak for all transmission coolers but the two factory ones that I just showed you you can see what's inside and you can make the judgment for yourself if you feel comfortable that you can flush all of your metal shavings and debris out of it if your transmission is showing excessive metal shavings in the pan.